through them and them with them. We find unity in the mini trucks. All things JDM. Keep us united forever and ever. Look what I got. I imported this from Japan. Let's see if I can unbox it with you guys. This is not a sponsor. I bought this with my own money. I actually had some uh, points saved up from buying a bunch of other stuff. So I used my points and got this for free. Guys, can you believe I had the audacity? I wrote the company and I was like, hey, you know, uh, I'm Ben, I got this YouTube channel, and we're mini truckers, and we always import everything from Japan. I was like, what do you think? You know, maybe give me a couple wrenches, like a quarter inch. I, I kind of got a little greedy, because I was like, how about give me a three-eighths, give me a quarter inch, give me a quarter inch, you know, long sock, uh, socket wrench. And the company wrote back, they were like, no, we don't need you, we're sold out already, thank you. So... I wasn't going to let that deter me. I just keep on keeping on. And I bought the part with my own points. So, which is kind of like the same as money. So, we're going to open this up. You know, this is, I guess, is like the Japanese snap on. So, I've never had any nice uh, tools, even snap on. I don't have any snap on stuff. But I am always using a 3H uh, socket. So I'd seen a couple other videos on this and it's from just straight from Japan. So I thought it would be something we could use and I would share it with you guys. Let's see. So it's made by this KTC Tools. There's the part number, the NBR390 is what I found. They actually make some custom pieces at this place and like dude you can get $2,500 socket wrench it's all like got you know hand like wood carving what's up bubba here's this little dog all right enough with the chitter chatter let's let's see what we're dealing with here i thought it would just slide out here look at that sweet dog Okay, here we go. I haven't seen this yet. Dang, son, what? Wow, it's heavier than I thought it would be. Okay, so it's flush here. My other one has a little thing that sticks out. Oh, look at my grimy American fingerprints. Ruining it. So this would be about a $100 socket wrench. Maybe a little less. I know some of you guys are like, what? But if you use it all day, every day, oh wow, those teeth. It's got a 90 teeth and then real positive engagement. You know, some of those cheap ones you're trying to work and this thing gets bumped by accident. The other one I'm using now is a Stanley and it's, I like the metal, I like the weight. It's hard to find one that's perfectly balanced, but I'm gonna use and abuse this thing. A lot of the people I saw reviewing it were just talking about it, so. We're going to put it to heavy use and see if it can withstand the JDM working on Japanese stuff. It actually has this little rubber grip at the bottom. I'm assuming that's like to perfect, you know, prevent it from rolling maybe. And then just protect if you have to set it down on something. But it's definitely a little weightier than my uh, Stanley one. Let me go grab that. Yeah, these are the one. This is my main one. The swings. I actually love the weight of this one and the feel and you get a positive clicking, no issues. And it's worked on that a lot. This one I got recently and not really a fan. This thing, which is probably too easy. The button, it just kind of feels so you don't get good feedback. I don't know what I was thinking with this rubber piece. Because when you're setting the spark plugs, you know, you can feel the uh, crush washers crushing with this thing. But when you have something like this, it's, and then the angle, I don't know, it's supposed to be a comfort grip. I don't use this very much. 
So I'm seeing that this one's actually a little shorter. But I'm excited. My first real tool. Oh, dude, it does feel really good being thick at the bottom. Yeah, this one kind of feels... So hopefully I don't lose too much leverage. I didn't know it was going to be so short, but... Oh, and then that grip kind of goes right into your palm. This is... Let me hold it with this hand and see. Yeah, you get a little extra grab on it with this. You didn't, it's not something you would even really think about. But I could feel if you were torquing down on it, you'd, you'd, you'd want that. It's going to keep it really secure there. Look, you can even see that imprint. I don't know if you saw it, but... All right, well, let's get to work. Got that knee pros. About to bust it out. Already been taking off some stuff. Sometimes when I cuss, I'll have to do it in Spanish. That way nobody can understand. Well, at least my kid. So, these spark plugs. Hopefully, not original we'll see what happens people put that what is it the uh We'll go look in the light. Here it is compared against a new one. You can definitely see that V, that's that power V. Yeah, so what you know about that power V? And then this one, not really power V. It was supposed to be kind of worn out. So we're gonna plop these in there. Well, I pulled the second plug. And look what I found. So, somebody been in here trying to troubleshoot or something. Because this one's not nearly as worn as the other one. And it's a different temperature. So, let's keep digging right down in this comments what you think uh, we're going to have in these next two. We still got some light left. See. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. And the verdict. Oh my god. You can't make this stuff up, guys. Holy crap. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen one with three different ones. Dude, this is hilarious. Now I'm super excited. Well, I just set down my knee pros and then I felt bad and I lifted it back up, but. And I was like, well, shoot, I guess I'm going to have to set it down eventually. So, all right. Let's see. Let's go four for four. I'm actually going to be disappointed if it's not a completely some other random size. Come on. And, and a different brand. Let's go for like a, we need a Bosch. Let's go Bosch. Okay. We're having a hard time, see. Sorry guys, I'll try to edit some of this out. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, I think that was what was on the end. So actually, we just have three different ones because the this one was the same as what would be here, but it's still inside the shed. So. Three different spark plugs, four cylinder engine, definitely gonna run better. I mean, I just don't understand why you would even, you buy the set of these, and I think it's, I don't even know, I buy them all, and I, the whole bunch is so like only like 50 bucks. So, I mean, to get to a couple, and you could, or, I mean, this stuff. Hopefully this is not indicative of what the rest of the truck is like, but 
we'll see. All right, hopefully you guys got something out of that. We got the BKR 6Es, dash one ones, installed the new ones, and we're wrapping it up. Got that Subaru hat. We're gonna go watch, I think the Christmas Carol, the one with the leg and the fragile. So my son's gonna see it first, first time. He's only six, hopefully it's kind of appropriate. People are saying eight, but uh, hopefully this helps. Have a good one. Stay mini. Always stay mini.